once we have exported our segments from idiom and prepare them for QA what we can do is open Xbench and we can create a new QA project in order to download Xbench I think the easiest way is you can type AppSeq Xbench you go to the first link you see here and you will be able to download this tool once you have it installed you can open it and you can create a new project you have to click project new and we have to add our files here in this case we are going to add the file we prepared beforehand which is a tab delimited text file we hit next we select it click open next again and here we need to check the ongoing translation checkbox we hit ok ok again and now the project is created if we go to the QA tab we're going to see all the different check groups that this software has basically what we need to do here is to select every check that we want to perform what I suggest doing here is checking all the basic group this way you can check for untranslated segments inconsistency in source segments inconsistency in target segments and target same as source in content when you, what you can find is tag mismatches and numeric mismatches in this case the linguistic check um, it's not going to be useful for us so we can uncheck it once we have selected all these options we can go to check ongoing translation and we are going to see the results here for example first error we get is inconsistency in target if you see here we have for the same source segment what we know two different translations que sabemos lo que sabemos on the column on the left what we can see is the file name and we can see the same information here at the bottom of the window we can see the file name we can see the type of error source text and target text in this case we have one instance of que sabemos and several instances of lo que sabemos so what we should do is correct this translation how can we do that we can simply right click and select edit source and that way this file is going to be open let's browse for some other errors here we have an inconsistency in source error what happened here is that we have the same translation in this case lo que podemos hacer for two different source segments what they can do what we can do
as frauds for other errors of course this is just a sample file I have no translations here here numeric mismatch what happens here is that the program shows that in the source segment I have the number one and in the target segment I have a number 10 so there's a difference in numbers there the same here what you can do is you can select the segment and at the bottom of the window you can see the differences for example here I have um, no numbers in source segment and I have two numbers in the target segment. Another error is target same as source that is similar to untranslated segments. Untranslated segments are empty segments uh, translation units that have an empty target uh, and in target same as source what the software shows here is that the translation is similar to or equal to the source text for example these segments uh, have not been translated so we should fix that um, this way we can go through all the translated segments and do a um, quick automated QA check.